Dr. Richard. <clears throat> yes. Okay. So Dr. Richard is uh, with me from the very beginning, like uh, after after he passed his part A, right? Dr. Richard, yes, if sir. I'm not wrong. All right. Yes. Then correct. you joined. Then you joined from uh, I guess from February, correct? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. That's right. Okay. All right. Go ahead. Share your experience. Uh, I mean, um, uh, what can I say? <laughs> uh, I don't have anything particular to share about this exam. It's just that uh, whatever you have taught, uh, it's uh, the same thing uh, are being asked. So if you are thorough with the study materials that sir has provided, it's quite enough. Uh, of course, there are um, that is uh, that is applicable for knowledge. But for the skills part, uh, practice is quite necessary, I believe. Because uh, unless you literally get up and uh, get one friend or some human uh, and ask them to be your patient and do your examinations, you will forget that. So uh, like each and every step, you just treat it as you, are, as you will be doing in your examination and do the same thing on that, uh, that person. And I think you should be good, yeah. And uh, same thing goes for history and communication as well. But um, uh, especially for the um, the the clinical examination part, um, yeah. And as for procedures, I think it's fine. It's uh, like uh, I was. I I think I passed because I was lucky a bit because I got uh, knot tying, suturing, and abscess training. So. Uh, not so much, uh, not so difficult stations, and um, and even for examinations, uh, I got the ones which I knew. Like I was not very confident with ortho examination, so I just got hydrocele, varicose, and um, and something else, uh, and spine. Yeah, so it was rather fine. Uh, yeah, that's all. All right. Okay, so uh, anyone wants to ask anything to Dr. Uma or Dr. Richard? I forgot to uh, ask for that. Dr. Uh, Farhan? Yeah, uh, I have one question for Dr. Uma. As you said that in phone call station, the <laughs> examiner started asking uh, questions. So uh, did Dr. Uma uh, completed the S-bar uh, totally and after that uh, the examiner asked or from the beginning, the examiner started asking the question. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, first, uh, um, first, like, yeah, yeah, one more thing. Whenever you're going to any station, first you say good morning, like that. That's sir has told, no? That you have to do. Then they will confirm your candidate number. Then they will start asking questions about the station. So initially, um, I think uh, have your uh, um, uh, okay, okay. Uh, no, no. We are we are introducing ourselves, right? Phone call. You will tell that I am calling to do this, this, that. You know. Then you will start asking questions. Okay, did you find? Uh, have you done an ECG for the patient like that? Then you will say no, no, sir. Uh, I I couldn't find an ECG. I will do one thing once I've kept. Uh, once I have done the phone call, immediately I will do an ECG like that. Okay, so likewise, he'll start asking questions. Then you will ask about fluid chart. Okay, uh, have you noticed a fluid chart? What about the fluid chart? Then you will say, okay, oh, I'm sorry. I couldn't find the fluid chart. Okay, so uh, uh, just uh, make a fluid chart. Okay, what fluid would you like to start? Like that, he will be asking you questions. And he asked me several questions like that. Uh, um, I think about the potassium. I think many questions were there. I think it's in the notes, right? All these questions were asked. and finally. The final thing will be, okay, tell me what all things you're going to do once you have kept this phone. That's the final thing he's going to ask. Basically, what I thought in my mind was that he will give you a list of things. Okay, do that, do this, like that. So I thought I will write it down. But actually, there is no list of things. The list of things are told in between. When you're answering, there's time he will reply to you. Okay, you can do one thing. You can give an injection of this. Like that, he will say casually. That time, you have to note down. Understood? Okay. Uh, okay. Dr. Uh, Farhan, uh, the, the thing is, you have to start with that. Okay, you explain. Okay, uh, the patient, you, you, you mentioned about the S-bar. You have to 
do all those stuffs then they will start asking you the questions yes that that's what i was uh, yes. thank yes. you yes. all right no problem okay so dr richard thank you so much for sharing your thoughts and everything um thank you sir i personally <laughs> want to like to again thank you so because without no, no, your help i really could not have done so you're most welcome and really congratulations once again okay good luck for your thank future you, I hope uh, we will sir, meet someday. <laughs> sure, I yeah. want to know. Uh, sir, yes? sir, one, one question. Somebody asked about ease of haggis. I'd just like to reply to them. Yes, go uh, ahead. In ease of haggis, yeah, first they have asked me, can you identify the structure? So I told it's an ease of haggis because actually in that structure there is a trachea there is an ease of haggis and that's and then what was it? i think i or uh, i don't remember it was a very like everything was removed out only a main structure was there i was like actually confused what could that be then i thought okay it should be an ease of haggis right it's just behind the trachea so i thought it's an ease of haggis because you can't find that picture anywhere but it's easily identifiable so it was ease of haggis then he asked me about the um, lining of ease of haggis then about the blood supply of ease of haggis then he asked about uh, the um, uh, the porto portosystemic anastomosis which all veins are uh, anastomosed then which veins are you know bleeding during varicosity uh, is what happens uh, with esophagus uh, in cirrhotic liver like that so about varicosity all these things were asked basically in esophagus okay dr t you want to ask yeah. a question yes yes to dr uma like yeah. although we are given nine minutes of prep station for the uh, communication part yeah but then yeah. When we enter the exam station, like we would be nervous, so we might forget what we have read. Although we'll be carrying the file, we wouldn't be able to run through it quickly. So in case if we have the information that we had gone through in that last nine minutes prep station, is it okay to say, like, let's say that the uh, fluid chart was given in the uh, file but then out of nervousness you have not read it and you don't get time to no. run through it quickly so can you just no. say uh, we no, have not done it and you'd like to go through it later or will there be Actually, negative uh, marking because despite no, no, no. having the file with us no, basically, we are not able uh, to answer the question yeah hello. I tell you basically hello you can hear me right you can hear me right Yes, we can yeah, hear you. Yeah, I mean, doctor. like, it's a bit... Yeah, uh, yeah. I, I tell you. Yeah, 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 yeah in fine. communication, can... in communication, you have more than enough time to write down everything that's given to you, okay? You have more than enough time. Like, it won't be too much information that's given to you. Just calm down and read everything. Note down everything that is important. Write the name of the patient. Write the name of the consultant. Write the date of date when uh, the patient was admitted. Then the important investigations which you find is concerning, like raised creatinine, raised potassium. Everything that you you can write down. You have time. You have enough time to write down everything. You have, I think, nine minutes. You have that nine minutes actually is more than enough. I could finish it uh, in six minutes time i think i could finish most of the writing everything in six minutes and then i just went through that once more like i just wanted to check if i've missed anything so don't worry about time you have enough and more time to write down everything in communication and both the communication station you have a proprietary station you have nine minutes and all the documents you can take it with you so you can write everything down you will be given a paper yeah you'll be given actually there will be a lot of paper there you can have pencil uh, there is a pencil also like not a pencil a lot of uh, i think three or four pencils will be kept there and you can write down all the points that you find important uh, write it down and you can take it with you so don't worry about these things informations they are not going to harm you in any way you will find it very easy it's not a bad it's not at all a difficult thing you have enough and more time dr t I'm your sorry, question but... your question is yeah i feel like Yes. So, so the thing is, yeah. if you missed out, okay, and if you ask, all right, just give me a time, uh, let me check and let me tell you again, okay. And if you can cover it within the time frame, then you will not have any kind of negative marking. You got that, okay. Dr. T? 
Yes. That means I have to tell them, right? Whatever is given in the note. Yes. And sometimes I they will ask saying, you. Can I come? You cannot say anything they other than the case file. Don't lie. Okay. And also, um, suppose they will purposefully okay. ask you a few questions. Okay. Uh, like in, in trauma case, is there any neck collar? Right. Um, what, what about the patient ECG in the I2 ratio case? Uh, so if it is not into the case file, you cannot lie, okay? You will simply say, all right, after the phone call, uh, I will do those and I will get, get back to you again, okay? Simply like that. If it is not in the case file, so you cannot case, lie. If the ECG, find, I mean, like, how many pages will the case file be? If it's a couple of pages, I can manage. But if it's a yeah. cake file, I don't think I can run through it in nine minutes. No, time. no. I'm like, six, I'm not it will be, it will seven, be, six. it will be, it will be something like, um, it will be 15 pages maximum, 15 to 20 pages maximum. It depends on the stations, depends on the cases. Okay. But for us, I think it was less than 10 pages. Less than, I don't remember. Yes, it now. depends. It, but, de it depends yeah. on the case. Um, was it like two and was it like two and four pages or just single pages? Or two and four, like one, two, two and three, four, four like in four. one page you have two yeah. pages yeah. filled yeah, in. Lamin it uh, yeah, laminated. One single page, one only one page has been covered. Yeah, I think one side, only one side. Laminated pages, yes. Oh, it was laminated. Yes. Okay. Mm. In case if due to nervousness, I'm coming back to my question. In case out of nervousness, if I'm not able to answer what is given in the file, can I just say after the conversation, like after the phone call, is it okay if I go through no, it or do I have no, to answer? No, no, no. If, if oh. it is written into the case file, then that, oh that means you have to tell, all right, let me check and give me some time, okay? And you check and you give them the answer until not, then. Oh, so if you cannot, to... then you will lose some marks. Okay. If it is into the notes, okay, that's why, that's why the course notes is important because uh, other than that, you will okay. not have any other further questions. The same thing is there. Sir, sir sorry, you have... uh, sir. Yes, yes. Sir, actually, uh, what okay, sir. Uh, so Dr. The P is asking are that fixed, including the numbers, value, and everything like correct, one thousand one hundred ml. Correct. Yeah, Doctor T, actually, what you are asking. That in the preparatory station, you will get some okay. case notes, the laminated pages, the single ones. Then there will be a paper uh, over yeah. which you can write the important points. Then you will go inside the station, the proper phone call station. There okay. also you will have all the same pages that you already uh, had seen in the previous race station. Everything will be in front of you. So if in case you don't remember anything, so you can ask the examiner, yeah. sir. I can uh, check, then they'll give you time, or you can just simply, you know, see and tell them. Also, Everything Dr. Is in front T, of you. Also, okay. also, Dr. T, while so you are okay talking, also, hmm. while you are talking, Dr. T, you can open the case file and yes. you can straight say those things from the from the case file, even if you didn't yes, write those. No, that, that's okay? right. I write. Just what I did in my own exam, I didn't write it down because I knew everything is from the notes, right? So I went straight to the okay. phone call. I opened the case file in front of me. I know I knew where was those things, right? So when they were asking me, I was just like simply turning the pages and I was just saying those things, just like I do in my daily day-to-day -day life. Right? So you can do that as well. Uh, so Don't take stress. One more question. Mm. So, so in that file. Is the case file organized? Like you have the clinical summary first, yes. and then following yes. that you have the yes. investigation. Yes, all the investigations in the last, the yes. Plan. Yes, it's organized. Oh, okay, sir. Then I manageable. Okay, yes, sir. yes. I thought it's all given hazard and I have to no. go through it. No, no. It's not like, okay, no. okay, sir. Okay, sir. It's, it's <laughs> organized. So much, no problem. It's organized the way, uh, according to the dates, okay? Okay. I have okay. one question. Yes, Dr. Farhan. 
<laughs> yes, uh, for another communication station, which is direct talking to the patient or related, there is a, a preparatory station for that also. Correct. So how uh, how important uh, is that the preparatory station as we are provided with some information and case file in the preparatory station also. But mm -hmm. we know that uh, we are just going to talk with the patient. Like if there is a cancer procedure uh, or cancer arthroscopy, so we mm -hmm. are going to enter the station and explain about uh, why the procedure is cancelled. So uh, how important is that file uh, is for us? Uh, is It is uh, very less is important. It just... okay. Yeah. Okay. It's very less because, important. Uh, this... Yeah, well, no, do this we, patient's surgery to, was, we have... no, no, you can just use that because the patient's surgery was cancelled even one time before. So these informations you get from uh, that station, that's it. That is the importance okay. that you have. And, and no other and no other information do we have to note uh, from that or just we need to uh, talk to the patient? Yeah. It's just actually everything is exactly like what's in the notes. Communication also, same thing. They will ask you about uh, this abdominal pain, gastritis, change the medicine to something else. He was taking proof and now will change to medicine something else. The same thing. Exactly what's in the notes, it's what they're going to tell you. So I think... Even you will just... have the same name of the consultant even. Okay. Yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so don't yeah. worry, guys, about the communication. This is the this is the area where you will have the highest mark. Trust me, Mister Man. Yes. All right. Uh, thank you, Doctor Richard. All right. We have.